What's up, my PT peeps? One Eye Bri back to talk about The Walking Dead season seven and do a discussion about why is Rick smiling at the end of 709 and beyond. Spoiler warning if you don't want to know any of this information about 709 and beyond, stop watching now as I do not want to ruin it for you. You've been warned. Here we go. So Rick is smiling at the end of 709. And we see the Garbage Pail Kids. Now, can we trust these people? We'll talk about that in a second, but what do you think? Post your comments below. What do you think of the Garbage Pail Kids? Don't know their name yet, the Junkyard Gang or whatever, but we affectionately call them the Garbage Pail Kids because it's a nice little name. The group is surrounded by a crap ton of these people. Kids, adults, whatever. There is a shit ton of them. Rick is smiling for a variety of reasons. We don't know exactly because we're not in the mind of Rick Grimes and they not, did not explain it yet. But Rick must see this group as an ally or something like, yes, look at all these people. Join our fight. I can convince them to be our army against that, right? Rick Grimes is a smooth operator and he's done it pretty well so far except for Gregory and Ezekiel. But they were shot down. But I think Rick sees this group as someone that can help them in the fight. Because if Negan knew this group, he would take a lot of their stuff already, I would assume. So I think Rick sees this group as, you know, an untapped resource. And Rick is happy about it, right? But should he be? Now, Rick was shot down by Ezekiel, shot down by Gregory. He has a little help from Hilltop, Jesus, Richard, but it's not enough, right? The kingdom is where it's at. You got to convince Ezekiel, but they're just not there yet. Gregory, useless. Pretty funny though. I saw. I thought Xander Berkeley was pretty hilarious in 709 just because he plays the rude coward asshole Gregory so damn well, and I thought it was pretty hilarious. So the hilltop of Gregory support, but you know, a little bit of hilltop. Then we see the group, the Garbage Pail Kids. They are surrounded. I, I feel like there's like so many more of these, that, but you can't fit them all in the same picture. Now you see scrap metal. You see, you know, raw materials that you can use to build stuff to help the fight against the saviors. I mean, they're in a damn junkyard for something. Cars, this, that. They have resources here that would be very useful to fight Negan and the saviors. And I think Rick, that's what Rick sees. Rick sees the potential. I think he's an optimist. You know, the he's like, yes, the tides are turning. We're rising up. We're going to have these people to us. Now in 710, we're going to find out more about them. I don't know if we can trust this group. The word about the Garbage Pail Kids is that initially they help the group. They, they form an alliance with the group. So I think that's what will happen in 710. We'll meet the leader. We'll meet Boots. We'll meet the second in, in charge. We'll meet a bunch of people here. Hopefully we'll see Father Gabriel because that's where I think he went and that's where he was taken or coerced to go or whatever it would be. But we will finally get to meet the leader. And there she is. And she's saying in the trailer, you know, we have your lives. You can get them back. And then Rick says in another line, I don't know if it's in this, our lives belong to the saviors. If you want to take them from them, come join us. I think we can help you with that. So Rick's going to kind of turn it as come join us to fight against the saviors because they need the numbers. And this is definitely the numbers. It's a numbers game in war and Rick needs more help. And that's what he sees the group as too. You know, I think that's why Rick was smiling and he sees that. But you know, we'll see how it goes down. What do you think of the Garbage Pail Kids? Do you think they're trustworthy? I think it's too, we don't know yet. It's too early to tell. We will find out in 710 and a couple episodes down the road, but we will really find out in the finale. Now, if you know this channel, you know the videos, we've talked about this group before we saw them, before we got to know them. There's all this information potentially going around them. I mean, the, the information could be wrong, but I trust it. I think it's going to be likely to occur so we'll see if you want to check out those other videos we'll show you the thumbnails like right there but the walker here rick will encounter this walker in 710 and i i wished that we would see more walkers like this because this is a great idea to turn these walkers into weapons and to unleash a bunch of them towards the saviors, but I don't think that's gonna happen during the war. You never know, it could be. That could be the start of seeing them. I think that's a great idea to use the walkers as weapons, you know. 
like uh, like another group does down the road like we will see in probably season nine <coughs> the whispers but this is war we can't wait so what do you make of this group what do you make of it on there too I, like i said it's too early to tell we'll find out in seven ten and beyond but i always like to know your information what you think what you make of it on there too what do you think so far is it like i said too early to tell most likely but we have other videos talking about this stuff we have some theories some spoilers some discussion are these friends are they foe are they whatever but so we got to see a little bit of continuation of the story and each week i think we'll get a little bit more especially in the 710 but can we trust these people only time will tell but we have some information in that video definitely check it out on our page if you want to know some spoilers about this new group good bad or indifferent definitely check it out if you want to know so what do you make of it guys let us know. Post your comments below. You guys are awesome. What do you think Rick is smiling about or for? Can he trust the group? Does he think he can or not? There you go, guys. That's all I got for you today about this video. Subscribe today to get more videos. You guys are awesome, and thank you for watching.